has a detailed love for our life and even what you read there that I have loved you and that's truly the message that God has for you today is that he loves you he loves you he loves you and uh, the the um, the thing that really you know just these last few moments we want to talk about is just about that love you know there's a uh, it says in the Bible in Romans chapter 5 verse 8 it says God um, demonstrated or commended his love toward us and that while we were yet sinners Christ died for us and the the message is you know there man that God God demonstrated his love he proved his love by uh, sending his son Jesus to die on the cross and you know we we hear you know some of us have heard that story over and over some of us are hearing that story maybe even for the first time today and this is the beauty of that story that uh, love that was demonstrated on the cross you know as we've been hearing throughout all the worship songs today there's freedom in that freedom from what uh, freedom from everything that has kept you in bondage. <laughs> freedom is freedom. The opposite of freedom is uh, you tied up, you in bondage, something paralyzing your life, holding back your life. And Jesus, uh, the love of uh, Jesus on the cross, uh, has the power to free you, so that you can live the life that you want to live. And so you might think, hey, how do I? How can you know? How do I start this? And how do I? You know, I, I'm there. That's who I am. I want freedom. And how do I accept uh, this love and experience this love? And so, uh, this is this is really you know what we're talking about you know today is that it's not a mistake <laughs> that you're listening. It's not a mistake that all these things are going on in in your life. God is looking to prove His love into your life, and so He's gonna you know He's given us all a, an invitation of love, and that invitation of love is to accept His free gift. His free gift. It's free. No need pay for him. <laughs> That's what free is. No need pay for uh, this gift. It's just accepting uh, the, the invitation of love or this free gift that uh, God gives us in the person of Jesus. And so it's real easy to accept uh, Jesus and to uh, accept this invitation that he gives you and I today. That he died on the cross for our sins. Our sins, our mistakes, our failures, all these other things. He accepts us. He, and, and he'll forgive us for anything. I think that sometimes people thought, well, he can't forgive me. You don't know what I've done. He can't. For he can forgive anybody, even like Larry was talking about earlier, about that guy from Chicago, you know, living that rough and life and all of those things. And then that man experienced the, the love of God, you know, the, <laughs> the forgiveness of God. And when he experienced the love and the forgiveness of God, he's serving God and helping people today. And so that might be you, and you got to know this is, the, this is the truth about God's love, that he will forgive you. No matter what you do, He will forgive you right now. And so if you, you want, you can uh, pray, uh, you can follow us and maybe even say this uh, prayer in your heart. You know, the Bible says again in Romans chapter uh, 10, you know, verse 9, it says, If thou confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in thine heart, that your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. And then here's this really important verse in, in Romans ten thirteen. It just says to call in the name of the Lord and you'll be saved. And this is this is the the cool thing. There's no method to it. You know, Jesus ran into a bunch of fishermen, and he said, "Come follow me." Uh, he ran into a demon possessed guy in Mark chapter five, and he's like, "Bro, I'm gonna deliver you, so you're in your right mind. You can make a right decision." And the guy accepted Jesus, and he came to Jesus, and he says, "Hey, Jesus, I'm gonna follow you, bro. I'm gonna follow you wherever." And Jesus said, "No, I like you go back and tell everybody in the Decapolis what I did in your life. Tell them your story." And so God, God wants God wants you to experience and accept His love for you right now and so we're just gonna just say a, a, a simple kind prayer you know and uh, ask god to ask god uh, ask jesus into our heart this morning so if that's you this morning do you know where you're at with god uh if this is if you don't know jesus you know you know that <laughs> uh and this is his in his love invitation to you today to accept and welcome him into your life so he can uh so he can help you plenty and so, uh, Father God, we come before you. We thank you for this beautiful morning that we've had together. We thank you for our brothers and sisters, our family, our ohana that are listening. And we ask, God, that today, that, uh, Lord, we would know you and know your love, your love that forgives, your love that accepts, your love that heals, your love that helps. We accept your love. And, and your word says that if we uh, confess Jesus is Lord, right now we say, Jesus is Lord. And we believe in our heart. It means we put our faith and our trust that you have, uh, that 
Jesus is risen from the dead. It says that we will be saved. And so we believe that, God. We believe that Jesus is risen from the dead and, and we accept what your word says. And then now we receive the promise. We receive the gift that if we confess Jesus as Lord and believe in our heart, it says that we will be saved. And so we just say thank you again for dying on the cross, Jesus. Thank you. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. Guide me today. Help me today to know you more to know you more, to know your love more. And uh, and we pray all of this in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. You know, if that is uh, your your first time, you know, just like I said, in your own words, or maybe you followed along in, with our with us as we prayed, you know, uh, this is, you know, the, the love and the relationship with Jesus is something that's more real than any relationship, any human relationship that you'll ever have. And uh, that's the, the beautiful thing. You know, you can call into the station again at 982-4355. We'd love to help you. Love to maybe even give you a Bible or encourage you, maybe even help you find a church. So you can call 982-4355 uh, today, and uh, we'd be more than uh, glad to, to help you out. Maybe even pray or talk with you if you, if you like that as well. Yeah, today is awesome, man. Today is an awesome day. Remember that God loves you with a detailed love. Huh, Larry? Amen. That detailed love is amazing. He's, his love is working out all the details in your life. <laughs>